Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to a new IGTV episode. So today's topic is called What You're Going Through Right Now is Part of Your Testimony. The things that I'm working on now, how did the things that I was going through five years ago, four years ago, even last year, how did it prepare me um, for now? And how has it prepared me to help you guys? How has it prepared me to help you guys in the future? Somebody needs to hear this. So we're going to dive in. We're going to tap in to this good message. So the first step is you have to have some type of faith to keep going. And I'm going to talk more about that later in this video. But you have to know to not give up. You have to have that fight. You have to have that faith that everything's going to be okay. Everything is going to align how it's supposed to. The things that you're going through now, it's for a reason. I know you don't want to hear that. It's okay. It's okay. I'm saying, I'm saying. But it is for a reason. It is for a reason. I'm a firm believer in things happen for a reason. It might not happen how we want it to. We might not want it to happen at all, but it's definitely for a reason. Um, and part of that reason is your testimony. A part of that reason is your purpose. A part of that reason is growth within yourself, but also to help other people, regardless if you realize that you're helping people or not, you know? So you have to keep the faith. You have to, you have, to have that fight. That's the main word. You have to have that fight to keep going. So you can have that fight and, and you can have the willingness and the faith to keep going, but... You don't have any direction. You don't know where to go. You don't know where to start to move forward, to start walking towards the light, to see better days and, and to be the person that you want to be, that you have been praying for and things like that. I would say ask for guidance um, and ask for guidance from God, you know, ask him to guide you, ask him to lead you, ask him to give you signs and not only give you signs but be receptive of those signs because a lot of times we pray for things we ask God for guidance but we don't want the answer <laughs> you know what I mean we don't want that answer we look like hold on this is you sure this is what I asked for like that's your answer this is what you want me to do like you know so you want to also ask for those things that you want the hearts of your desires but also ask for God in that. How do I even just get out of this this thing that I'm going through? Like, how do I make it through? How do I stand, stay strong? Because I need help. I need guidance. And you have to realize that you are not alone. You have yourself. You have your future. You rooting for you. So this goes into my next point, which is you have to do soul searching. In this time that you are enduring these rough times and these dark days you have to tap into yourself because when you're tapping into yourself when you're doing that soul searching you're not seeking validation from other people you're not relying on people to tell you who you are you're not seeking that validation because everything that you need is inside you already have it. you already have the tools you already are that person that you are preordained to be you already are that dream person that you want to be right you're, you're already that person but the difference is you have to find him or her you have to find who you are you have to find who that person is and that means you have to stop trying to get value from other people that means you have to stop allowing people to tell you who you are. You have to stop allowing people to say, oh, you're never going to amount to anything because of who your family is or the type of background you had, the type of history you had, or who you used to be, what you used to do, or what you're doing now, the, thing, the type of person you are now. You know what I'm saying? You can be a better person, but it all starts from you you tap in to yourself and realize that you are capable of getting out of that rut with that being said you have to realize that you do have a support system now hold on hold on hold on wait a minute now when i say that because i know you just said don't seek validation you can have support system without seeking validation having your friends influence you to do things you know you are not comfortable with or things that you don't want to do that you are no longer that's not you no more that's not you okay it's okay to let that lifestyle go it's okay to let that go 
So you have to realize who's your support system. So first and foremost, um, your, your support system is your belief system. Um, so my belief system is God. That is my number uno. My number uno. My number one supporter. Then you have your yourself. You are your own support system. Um, and really, that's your number one part two. Um, not necessarily your second, but your number one part two. If you don't believe in yourself, if you don't truly believe in yourself and your potential of who you want to be, how do you expect other people to believe in you? How do you expect other people to be your support system? Now, I know that quote is cliche. We hear it all the time. If you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect other people to believe in you? But um, for me, and me doing my soul searching, it's very true. Because somebody can see that potential in you, everything that you can be and more. But if you're always doubting yourself, if you are every single time somebody gives you a compliment, you turn, you're, you know, you're putting yourself down and be like, well, I'm not really, you know, I did this and I did that and I don't know. And I, eh. after a while, people gonna be looking like, um, I'm not supporting this person. They not even practice what they preaching. You know what I mean? How can somebody trust you um, and believe in you if you're not even practicing what you're preaching? And trust me, again, I, I understand. I've been there because I used to do that. And I'm still working on it. Y'all know we, I keep it all the way real over here on this platform. Um, you know, I used to really put myself down when it comes to my work. And people would just tell me how good my films are, my video, my work, my editing, and all this stuff. And I would just be so quick with be like, oh, I don't know. And, da, 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 da. and, you know, I had to realize, like, if I don't see my potential, how... How are people going to really help me? How are people really going to support me? How are people going to really say, hey, I got this opportunity for you. I think you'll be great at it. They're going to be thinking she don't even believe she, she can do the job. So why would I help her with that opportunity? And that also goes into your energy. Like I said in my last IGTV video, energy, energy, energy. That is your foundation. If you are spewing out that negative energy, how can somebody support you and give you that energy back? You have to think about that when it comes to your support system. Now, like I said before, your support system is not your yes man. What you need is friends that's going to say, you know what? Come over my house. Let's have a glass of wine. Let's do a vision board. Or let's talk about our goals. What's stopping you from, from getting this goal? What's stopping you from this accomplishment? Okay, that was a step back. All right, that's cool. But now I bought a journal for you. I want you to write this down. Because we going to conquer this fear. We going we gonna to get this together. That's the type of people you need in your life. That is your support system. And that's what you need around you. You need people who are going to tell you, this is the enemy trying to stop you from your blessing. It's trying to stop you from your testimony. Okay? They're trying to stop you from your testimony. So it's time to get up. And it's, it's time to get some things going. How can I help? How can I be a help to you? How can I be an asset and not a liability? That's a different video for a different time. If you need it, let me know. And I got you. So <laughs> you want assets and not liabilities in your life. So think about that when it comes to your support system. Who is in your support system and are they benefiting you are they helping you see the end of the tunnels are they helping you to motivate yourself to help you be the better person to help you to to get out this dark time because it's a lot of dark time and i understand that everybody has their own thing that they're going through you know every single person if you think that nobody's not dealing with no trials and tribulations you are sadly mistaken you're you're very foolish everybody has their things but also it takes a real friend it takes a real family member it takes you know real people real supporters to help you out of that to, to motivate you to do better to be better so my next point is having gratitude now you have to find gratitude within your dark moments and now i know that's hard i know that's hard because in your dark moments you don't see any good you don't see any light you don't see anything to be grateful for to be thankful for to you life is terrible okay <laughs> life is a show right now 
like you know so it's hard for you to see the good things but when you start to see the good things you attract good things and like i said about energy i'm always going to refer to energy you guys when it comes to energy look at it like this you want to spew out positive energy what you give out to the world is what you give back if you are constantly on the cycle of negativity right constantly on this cycle and so while you're on this cycle you're spewing out negative energy you just keep spewing it out right once you start being grateful you start thinking you start being more optimistic about life this is a positive thing that's a positive thing that's a positive thing you start receiving positive things back so now instead of you doing this we spewing out negative energy you're bringing in positive energy because you're spewing out positive energy and things that you wouldn't even think that you could obtain you're obtaining by you being optimistic you have to think of the positive things that are going to come out and that's going to come to you it might not be right away i'm not going to sit here and tell you as soon as you do a good deed or as soon as you do something positive instantly something positive is going to come back sometimes it, i mean it's Sometimes it might, it might, but the big things, it takes time, you know, but best believe it's going to happen. So you have to be grateful. And also when, you, when you're grateful to God and, and when you're grateful about life and, and, and the greatness and the goodness that you do have, because you do have good things, you can't have bad things without the good you can't have the good things without the bad you know it's, it's always a balance so when you are grateful to the good things like i said good things will come back and when you're not grateful most of the time good things aren't gonna come back to you just like how you want somebody to appreciate you not only with words but with actions you have to appreciate your life but not only words, but with actions as well. And once you start with, with words, the actions will follow. You know, once you, you start to realize, okay, I've been, I've been saying I'm grateful, but let me show how grateful I am. Let me, let me do a good deed. Let me start being a better person. Let me reflect on myself. How, let me soul search. See how it's tying, it's tying all together? Let me soul search so I can work on myself, so I can be a better person, so I can be ready for, for the blessings that God has for me. Instead of feeding into the negative energy that the enemy has, because the enemy knows my testimony and knows the blessings that God has for me. So let me get out of that, you know? And by doing that, you have to show gratitude so that goes into my next point which is accepting change oh we don't like that word i know i know i used to damn like that word either sometimes i still don't <laughs> yes change 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 you have to surrender to change you have to accept that change is normal change is a real thing change happens regardless if you want it to or not and a lot of times when we are in these dark times and these dark days, we are changing. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what we're doing. We're changing. We're molding. We are becoming diamonds because life is applying pressure. It's saying, we want you to be a diamond. And so we're going to apply this pressure because we know you are capable of it. But we want you to tap into yourself to see that you are a diamond and you are capable of getting through this. So in order to get through this, you have to change. You have to let go of some things. You have to let go of this old lifestyle. You have to sacrifice your old self to who you are preordained to be, who you have dreamed to be. You have to accept change. You have to say, look, I'm surrendering. I'm no longer gonna try to control my life I'm gonna I'm gonna let God control my life I'm gonna let God move how he wants to move because he is my number one supporter he is the person that he already has seen my life but it's, it's, it's up to me to say look I'm a soul search I'm gonna give gratitude I'm gonna work on myself 
I'm going to accept this change to, to be the person that I want to be. To have my testimony. To get through this so my testimony can help other people. Regardless if I know it or not. Because regardless if you know it, your testimony is going to help a lot of people. Whether if it's people within your community, whether if it's people on the internet, people around the world, they need your testimony. Yes, you're going through hard times, but it's not to your demise. If you have the mindset that it's to your demise, if you have the mindset that you are a victim, that's what your life is going to be. You have to have the mindset of this is for my greater good. This is what is going to mold me. This is what's going to make me better. This is what's going to have me change to be the person that I want to be, to be a greater person for my testimony. And you have to have faith in yourself. You have to have some type of, like I said, support system, belief system, some type of faith within yourself that this change is happening. I just need to to allow it to happen because it's for my greater good. But guess what? You can get through it. I believe in you. I believe that you can get through it. And you have to trust within yourself that you can do it. And that you can get over this. And this change is for the good. Stop fighting the change. I'm here to tell you, stop fighting the change. Stop it. Because by you fighting the, the change, it's your own demise. It's making you fail. It's making you have harder times. It's making you doubt yourself instead of believing in yourself. It's making you not reaching your full potential. It's making you not receiving the blessings that God has for you. So stop it. Cut it out. <laughs> it's like, no, don't cut it out. Well, yes, cut it out. But you know what I'm saying? Like, stop it. I understand it's hard. Trust me. Me and God still be going back and forth all the time about change. Trust me. Trust me. I get it. But you have to stop being a control freak. And as as humans, as men, we, we always want to be control. Control, control, control. We want to have control. We want to have control. But ultimately, he knows what's going to happen. What you don't want to do is continue to have that control. And you become even worse of a person that you are now. I'm gonna let that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you marinate up on it. Mar marinate on it. So that is the end of this video. If this video resonates with you, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you share it to somebody that might need it. The question of this video um, that I want you guys to answer in the comments down below is: What did you learn in 2020 that is part of your testimony now? So definitely let me know in the comments down below. Also, you guys, if there's anything that you want me to talk about in future videos, any topics, if there's anything you want me to, to talk about more in depth that you heard in this video, let me know. Make sure you follow me, DFA5, show it some love and support, and I will see you guys in my next IG post. Bye!